Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today, well, it's gonna be the second part of round three of Brother Wars. So for those who are new to the channel, I'm currently doing a One Piece pack opening challenge where I only have to follow two simple rules. Number one, I can only collect cards that I personally open from packs. And number two, I need to complete the entire base set. That means getting all of the leader and character alt arts in just 28 boxes, not including the manga and special cards. And if I fail to complete the challenge, well, that means I will be giving away one entire booster box to the viewers of my channel. Speaking of giveaways, the winner of my last video's giveaway is... Surprise! Congratulations, Surprise! You are the winner of this free pack that we will open at the end of the video. And before we get to the box opening, I just want to quickly thank the members of the wool pack. And yeah, as a reminder, this month's members only giveaway is going to be the Gear 5 Secret Rare from OP05. It's going to be the Japanese version. So if you want the chance to win this card, you have until the end of the month to become a member. All right, now without further ado, let's get to the opening. All right, guys, it's time for the second part of the last round of Brother Wars in OP04. Chris was able to pull me the Bege or Beige Alt Art and I guess the Corazon Secret Rare. And yeah, we'll see what my brother Mark has in store for us. Uh, as a recap, um, we are still down to four left in our wanted list. And yeah, we still need a few more Secret Rare or Secret Cards for our buggy bounties. And obviously, we're still looking for Manga Sabo. All right, let's go, Mark. Let's see what you pull for me. As we have Baby Five, Iceberg, Miss Valentine, and Senior Pink. All right, I hope everyone is having an amazing, amazing weekend. We are just down to about, what is it? Less than three weeks away for OP05. I can't wait. Oh man, if you miss it, I posted a video of the 10 most expensive cards Ooh, as we have our first sr we got miss all sunday the 10 most expensive cards in op05 based on the japanese region um i'm not gonna spoil it but definitely a surprise for me of what the number one is i did not think it would be that but it is and the price for that hit is staggering especially considering that the Japanese cards usually have a lower value than the North or the English version. But yeah, if the price hold, maybe the number one card will be comparable to some of the serial numbered cards in, uh, you know, the One Piece regionals because it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, wow. An early hit with Mark as we pulled the Corazon Alt Art. So that's already one down in terms of the hits. Hopefully there's gonna be a three hit box. Hopefully there's gonna be two more, but Mark's starting out kind of strong with the Corazon Alt Art. Unfortunately, it is a repeat, but you know, it's, uh, I love the character and the art is quite sublime. Ooh, second back-to-back, kind of back-to-back hits as we pulled the BB Alt Art on. So as I was saying, yeah, I'm surprised of what the number one is based on Japanese region. So yeah, if you miss it, go watch it. Very informative because it's definitely informative for me when I made that video. All right, let's go. We have one hit so far. Hopefully there's gonna be two more coming. Chris pulled the secret rare, the regular secret rare, and then Mark pulled the alt art. So maybe we're gonna be in store. Maybe Mark's gonna pull me a manga rare. Or even a leader. I'll take a leader, you know? We are still missing, uh, I guess, Vivi? No, Rebecca, uh, in terms of the wanted list. So, yeah, help me pull more leaders. I love pulling leaders. It's just so fun. And the artworks in OP04 are amazing. Also, if you missed it, it's not confirmed, but the scuttlebutt around, um, I guess, the Twitter sphere or the X sphere 
is that there might be god packs coming in ooh, as we have the second altar dawn so yeah there might be god packs coming in op06 there's two unconfirmed videos showing that there might be a god pack in uh, op06 i'm not gonna share the video just because i don't want to spread misinformation if it's not true but apparently in the god packs you might be able to pull pretty much all of the leaders i think all of the alt art leaders in one single pack it sounds absolutely insane i don't know what the hit rate's gonna be but yeah that's something else to look forward to in op06 because we're not just gonna be trying to hunt for the chase cards the manga zoro but we're gonna be chasing and trying to find a god pack can you imagine guys if we pulled a god pack in my videos that would be absolutely absolutely insane as we have ooh, another sr we got a uh, green dofi also uh one thing that's kind of sucks with the i guess op05 is that there won't be a pre-release event um in replace of that is the one year anniversary uh, event in One Piece. It's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing as a pre release as we have our next SR. We got Sanchi. It's basically gonna be the exact same event. It's either gonna be sealed or constructed based on you know your LGS and what they do, but it's gonna be the same. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of different pricing. I think you can get a Dawn, you can get a promo pack. Oh, uh, as we got Pell SR. I think you get an extra. Uh, promo pack I think you can get two out of um, uh, I forgot how many maybe 10 or 12 um, but yeah uh, somewhere in the screen I will show oh as we have Kaido SR I will show in the screen what the pricings are and instead of having the pre-release stamp the cards will have the first anniversary uh, anniversary stamp on it uh, it looks absolutely cool and if you do actually win the pre-release or i guess a one year anniversary event you will get um i think a gear 5 promo luffy with the first anniversary stamp and yeah hopefully i'm able to get that even though it's not a pre-release but i think it's actually even more special just because of the one anniversary stamp yeah the artwork on that luffy gear 5 promo looks absolutely insane and yeah, hopefully I can get it because I think that card will be mucho expensive as we have nothing. Alright, so Mark has only pulled us the Corazon Alt Art. Still hoping there's going to be a three hit box. Hopefully there's two more coming. Let's go, Mark. Let's see those hits. Um, yeah. Uh, also, the only thing that, uh, the other thing that kind of sucks with the uh, one year. Oh, alright. Nice. Mark pulled us the VV Secret Rare. Um, obviously, we've already pulled VV, and uh, you know, but I can't hate you know just because VV looks absolutely gorgeous. So having more VV is not bad, and maybe VV will be very play playable in the future. You know, you just don't know. Um, but that's two hits so far. <laughs> Mark, you still need to pull at least one more bangers to have a chance. To go against chris so come on let's go let's go pick it up um yeah as i was saying one of the things that is unfortunate with the one year anniversary is that it's not gonna happen before the set it's actually gonna happen a week after op05 releases uh you know one of the things that i love about pre-release is that everyone will get the chance to actually try out the cards um even before the set releases but you know the one year anniversary is gonna be after Ooh, as we have another sr we got yamato but the um you know one year anniversary less of that you know everyone will have already uh, a chance to look over the cards um so it's less special that way but it's still gonna be fun i know that a lot of our locals are gonna be participating and comment down below guys is that an event that you guys are gonna be participating oh as we got another sanji sr is that uh, the, is the one year anniversary sealed or i guess not sealed event but the one year anniversary event is that something you are excited for uh for me uh, definitely you know i would love to collect all of the one piece card game cards and yeah that goofy gear 5 winner is um definitely top of my list and 
yeah, I think it would look great in my collection. All right, let's go, Mark. Last pack, Magic. Is there one more hit uh, lying in wait for Mark? Will he be able to put up a fight against Chris? Let's go find out. As we have Giola, Rabian, Chapa, Mr. Uh, Idio, Jack, Hiori, McVeis, Bege, and Red Rock. Wah, wah. I'm sorry, Mark. But unfortunately, you know, I think everyone can see. Well, we'll do a quick re recap, right? So, Chris was able to. Uh, pull in his part. He was able to get me Vege, uh, Alt Art, as well as Corazon Secret Rare. And then Mark tried to answer with the Corazon Alt Art, as well as the VV Secret Rare. Comment down below, guys. Who do you think won the last round of Brother Wars for OP04? Is it my brother Chris or is it bro my brother Mark? Uh, unfortunate. You know, we're still stuck at four left in our bottom list with about what? nine nine boxes left so it's gonna be tight we need to start pulling more and miss it and stop missing so yeah hopefully next episode will be much better all right i hope everyone enjoyed that i guess mark's opening not quite the best but still love my brother all right now it's time to see what sarai's has win with their uh free pack as always sarai's good luck and believe in the heart of the cards so first we got arabian Giola, Chinjiao, Miss Mary, Otama, Corina Coliseum, Apis, Luffy, Machvice, Hadridin, Bad Manners, and nice, Robin Schwan, Miss All Sunday. As always, Sarais, you have seven days from the posting of this video to contact me with your mailing address so that I can send Robin Schwan to you. And if you want to be just like Sirais and be part of my giveaways, all you have to do is make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. As always, guys, I hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.